today. Welcome once again to another episode of the show. As you already know, I'm your host, Pastor Avanti Uzo, and I just want to say God bless you. Thank you once again for tuning in. I celebrate you and I appreciate you. I want to quickly start by saying thank you, thank you, thank you to all my wonderful subscribers. God bless you. I celebrate you. Thank you so much. And I also want to say, if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and do that. It's really important because the internet space is saturated with so much negativity, so much negative content. I mean, the other day, I was looking at something about a challenge that was trending and a couple of kids engaged in that challenge and all four of them them died just like that so you know we want to saturate the airways and when you subscribe to this channel and share you help the algorithm to share this content which is positive and encouraging to tons of people so please go ahead and share that's your own little way of making the internet space safer and better for the society god bless you I want to jump right in by sharing the topic with you. So the backstory of this topic is I was meditating and wondering, God, what do I share with your people today? I was just thinking, in fact, I had a topic. I already had something that the Lord, you know, ministered to me throughout the week that was really getting me excited. And I was like, oh, wow, I can't wait to share this with God's people. And as I was meditating, I just said, okay, let me ask the Lord, you know, and I said, God, what would you have me share? And he said, share this with my people. And what I want to share with us today is a topic I title, Is the Second Coming a Myth? I'll say that one more time. Today's topic is titled, Is the Second Coming a Myth? Over the years, we've heard so much about the second coming of Jesus Christ. We've heard about the rapture. We've heard, oh, judgment day is coming and all of that. And truth of the matter is, a lot of people are like, is this really happening? Or is this just something that religious leaders told us to try and control us? Well, I want to jump right in the scriptures and I want you to see for yourself what the Bible says about the second coming of Jesus. Today I'll be reading our first text scripture and it will be taken from the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 16 in the NIV translation and it reads, For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and we will be with the Lord. I want to continue reading. Today I'm going to read a lot of scriptures because I feel like we need to see these things for ourselves. I'm going to continue the scripture reading because the next chapter of the previous verse I just read continued on the topic. So now we're going to jump to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 1 and it says, Now brothers and sisters, about the times and dates, we do not need to write you. For you know very well that that day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying peace and safety, destruction will come on them suddenly as labor pains on a pregnant woman and they will not escape. But you brothers and sisters are not in darkness so that this day should surprise you like a thief. You are all children of the light and children of the day. We do not belong to the night or to the darkness. So then, let us not be like others who are asleep, and let us be awake and sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk, get drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober. Put on faith and love as a breastplate, and the hope of salvation as a helmet. For God did not appoint us to suffer wrong, but to receive salvation. Praise the Lord. I know that because it's been so long and we've heard that Jesus is coming even from way back. I've been hearing Jesus was coming since I was a baby, like a little kid. If he hasn't come yet, it doesn't mean that he's not coming. And it doesn't mean that his second coming is a myth. I know you're like, but you're reading in the Bible. They told us from the Bible that he's coming. Do you know how many things that have been said in the Bible that has come to pass? The other day I was reading the book of Isaiah and I saw where he was talking about Jesus Christ. He was giving prophecies about the Messiah and about Jesus coming. And Jesus came. There's record that Jesus walked the face of the earth. There are many other things that has happened. If you read the book of Romans chapter 1, you will see that all the moral decadence and moral decline that is happening right now in our generation, it did not just start. It didn't just happen. These things were prophesied. God told us about it. He said in the last days, men will become lovers of themselves instead of lovers of God. You know, many things, just go read the book of Romans chapter 1 and you will know that those things are happening right now. He spoke of war. 
perils, famine. The Bible says so many things that have happened. So if you're over there listening to me and you're thinking, is Jesus really coming? Shouldn't I just be flexing with other people? Shouldn't I just be enjoying myself? Why am I restricting or limiting my life? My dear, let me share something with you. Why we don't know when Jesus is coming, if he's coming in our days or not, the truth of the matter is, rapture might happen for you and I sooner than we think. And let me tell you what I mean. I remember a couple of years ago, a young chap was talking to me, a really young dude. I think he was a teenager. He was like, oh, he doesn't believe Jesus is coming and he doesn't believe that there's a rapture. And that day as I talked to him, the Spirit of God ministered something to me. I never even thought about this thing I'm sharing with you before I talked to that boy that day. But that day as I was speaking to him, you know, I was searching my spirit. I said, God, what would you have me tell this guy? And this is what God told me to tell this young guy a couple of years ago. And this has been helping me. And that thing was that rapture happens for you the day you die. So whether we are here and we get to, you know, get caught up in the air with the Lord or we sleep in the Lord because we don't die. We only sleep. The second coming of Jesus Christ is sure. And this scripture that I was reading to you earlier was Paul trying to explain to the Thessalonians about the second coming of Jesus. I want to read another verse of scripture. This time I'll be reading from the book of Revelations chapter 3. And I'll be reading from verse 11 and it says, I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have so that no one will take your crown. The one who is victorious, I will make a pillar in the temple of my God. Never again will they leave it. I will write on them the name of my God and the name of the city of God, the new Jerusalem, which is coming down out of heaven from my God. And I will also write on them my new name. Whoever has ears, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. I literally do not really necessarily like to share this topic because, I mean, it's been so long, let's be realistic. You know, it's been so long and when you've told people over and over again that Jesus is coming and it's not happening, people tend to want to look at you as a liar. But I know that Jesus is coming. I know that, I've, I've resolved it in my mind. And I try by the grace of God, but I don't even want to say I try. By the help of God, I live every day with the impression, with the knowledge, knowing in my spirit, in my heart, that Jesus could come at any time and I ask him to help me to be ready. I ask him to help me to be prepared. And today, I just wanted to come encourage you like I normally do. But God said to me, tell my people I'm coming. Tell them I'm coming. The second coming is not a myth. It is real. Jesus is coming. When I go on social media lately, the way I see young people die, people just losing their lives. I wonder, I hope these people made peace with God before this happens. Because why would I say, oh, these pastors, all these people who talk about Jesus, they lied. My dear, you want to be ready at every time because Jesus could come at any moment. And if he doesn't come, your time may come. And he just asked me to tell you, I'm coming. I know most times when God asks me to share things like this, it may not be for the general public. So if this doesn't apply to you, if you're ready, you're prepared, you're waiting for a second coming, praise God, I'm happy for you. But if this applies to you, sweetheart, please pay attention to these words. God wants you not to lose heart. Don't get carried away by the distractions and things that are happening in the world. Don't get carried away. Don't get carried away. Be mindful of his second coming. Be mindful that Jesus is going to come back again. Be mindful because it's the truth. He never lies. If God says it, it will come to pass no matter how many years it takes. So please, right now, if you haven't received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and my Savior. I confess all my sins to you. Forgive me for my doubt and unbelief. Lord, forgive me for backsliding, for turning away from you. And help me, Lord, to live my life daily, knowing that you are coming back again. Help me not to miss you, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I don't know about you right now, but I just felt the presence of God walk into my room. I just felt that he really wanted you to hear this today. Don't be distracted. Don't look at other people who call themselves Christians and are living their life anyway. I mean, they call themselves Christians, but they might as well be unbelievers. Don't look at them. Don't follow them. 
Follow the word of God. The word that we have is a sure word of prophecy. And God will never go back on his word just because the whole world doesn't believe it. He watches over his word to perform it. And I believe and declare right now in the name of Jesus that you and I will be ready and prepared for the second coming of Jesus. We will not miss it in Jesus' name. We will not be distracted in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. My God, that got intense real quick, right? <laughs> well, I've shared with you what the Lord wants me to share with you today. And you may have somebody around you who needs to hear this too. Please share it with them. There will be no joy on judgment day seeing your friends and loved ones go somewhere else when you're in heaven and paradise alone celebrating with God. No, share this with them. It just might be what they need to rededicate their life to Christ and believe that truly, God, you're speaking to me. Somebody might be asking God, give me a sign. If it's true that you're coming, give me a sign. This is their sign. So please go ahead and share this video. And until I see you again next week, may the Lord honor you for sharing this video. You will not fail. You will not falter. God will hold you with his hands and you'll keep winning. Bye for now.